Hey everyone, this is Daniel and today's video is a continuation of my Hidden Gem series, video number 19. And in this video, I'm going to cover three really important things. So the first one is how to go ahead and add emojis to your Power Apps Canvas app. The second one is how to control the mobile device app appearance. And finally, how to go ahead and export all those images that you've uploaded to your Power Apps Canvas app. So stick around, but first, here's my intro video. So let's get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do is how to add emojis to Power Apps. And keep in mind that this is not something which is Power App centric or could be a Power Automate centric. This is more of a Windows operating system centric. And the trick is to add emojis using the Windows button on your keyboard, which is usually between the Alt and the Central, and the period or the dot button, which is usually to the right of your keyboard. And its combination will give you the emojis. So as an example, I'm going to go and do it in this Canvas app. And as a full disclosure, all I did was create this Canvas app and just gave it a name. That's all I've done. I haven't done any other effects. So now I'll come into my insert menu, click on the text, and I'll add a text input. And now when I go into a play preview, I'll just delete the text input. I'm holding my Windows button, and I'm going to go ahead and click on the period. And this happens. The emojis come up. And I can go and select these different emojis, which are pretty neat, and it shows up. Keep in mind that if anything has color to it, it tends to become black in color. So for example, over there, I had, I had the red color. So if I click on the red color, it went ahead and showed up as black. So it's something to keep in mind. All right, so it's pretty neat that it actually works this well. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it to the next level and let's store it to a data source just to do as a good validation test that does this work. So what I did was I went ahead and created a SharePoint list. And again, this is a very simple list. That's why I call it quick test. And all I have is the title. Again, that's just out of the box SharePoint list, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go and delete this off and let's go ahead and add the form. Well, first I actually got the data connection. So I'll come on my add a data, I'll go on my data source, I'm gonna go ahead and search for SharePoint, make sure I actually click on the SharePoint, click on the connection. My list, uh, my site name is called as test sites. That's what I'll call as test sites. And I'll do a quick search for my quick test. And now I've got my SharePoint list connected. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add a form. So I'll click on edit form and I'll go to the data source. I'll make sure I've got that edit form over here. Two simple columns, so nothing jazzy. What I will do is I'll come into my items and in my items, I've got to click on defaults and in defaults, I'll make sure my data source is there. So we are golden over here. And finally, I want to go and submit it. So I'll click on my submit. Um, on the buttons on select, I'm going to do submit and submit form. Again, add the form name and that's it. So that's, the test is there. All right, so now when I go and click on plus, I mean, sorry, play preview, I'll come back and I'll go ahead, again, hold the Windows button, hold the period button, and the emojis come up, and let's go ahead and add some of these emojis. I'm selecting, selecting, all is good. Go ahead and click on the submit button. Submit is completed. Let's go take a look at that SharePoint list. And any second now, our SharePoint list should get updated, and voila, the emojis come up over here. So this is pretty exciting, and it's kind of fun also, right? Because I went ahead and now got the emojis. I can add emojis first, which itself is pretty, you know, in, in, interesting and exciting. But I can go and save it too, and I just proved that to you. So this was the first hidden gem that I talked about, which is adding emojis for your Power Apps. Let's go to the next one. So the second one is mobile device app appearance. So what does that exactly mean? What it means is that here I've got my mobile device, it's a smartphone, and there I've got my Power Apps. So when I go to the Power Apps, in the settings, there's actually something for the device appearance. So the next thing I do is I go ahead and click on the top left. So I click over there. And now under settings, you can see appearance. And that's what I meant by the mobile device app appearance. So now when I click on the appearance, you have these settings. The default I have is, is called the light, which is usually the default for all of these small smartphones, mostly at least on my iPhone it is. But you've got these two other ones, the dark mode and the default system default. What these two first mean is that system default is the phone itself has a dark mode. So if that mode is set up, the app will by default inherit that. Because right now I don't have the dark mode, which is why it is inheriting also the, the, the light mode. So if I actually go ahead and you know select the system default, because my phone itself, and I'll show you what that is, in my, right in my settings over here, if I go into my display and brightness, if I go into my display and brightness, you can see I am in the light mode, which is why the default settings of the Power app, mobile app, is also in the light mode. So let's go and take a look at that. See, 
It's right here, go back into my appearance, and even the default setting is the exact same as the light mode. But if I were to go and now select dark mode, this is what happens. It looks pretty neat, very easy on the eyes, especially if you've got low lighting for whatever reasons, right? This is what it is. So it's also neat because regardless of what your device mode is, it already go, always goes ahead and makes sure that your Barbara's mobile app will select to the dark mode because that's the one that you selected. But as a full test, if you now go back again to our appearance uh, settings and say now if I go into system default, my system default is light because the phone is light. But if I were to change now my phone one, I go back again to my brightness and um, uh, uh, display and brightness, I select that to dark mode, the phone itself went into a dark mode, and now if I go into my power apps, the power apps also went into in the dark mode. So it is both, it'll take the system default, but it also has the effect to go ahead and add its own setting, whether it was in the default mode was dark for the device, you can make the app light and vice versa. So this is the mobile device app appearance. Now let's go and take a look at the final one, which is how to export media from the Power Apps Canvas app. Now Power Apps has a really neat effect where you can go ahead and actually upload the images that you want and go ahead and instead of now adding an image and putting and dragging and dropping it or assigning the default value, you can just drag and drop it. In fact, that's one of the videos I had done in my Hidden Gems number 17, I believe. I put that link down in the description, so go ahead and check that out. But what I mean is basically you can come now to the images, you can go ahead and upload any image that you want. And instead of now you going to insert and then going and getting your media and then you know put in the default setting, you can directly just go and drag and drop it. It's, it's literally that simple. This was actually one of the hidden gems. But take for example that scenario where I have got an app, I've uploaded some amazing images and for whatever reason, I have lost those images. They got deleted, I've lost them in my cloud, I just do not have those images but they're still in the app over here. So how do I go and get those back, right? It's still there. A couple of things come to my mind is let's go to the app. I see an ellipsis. If I click on the ellipsis, I'm hoping that there's a download button, button or a save as. There isn't anything. Also, if I go to the actual screen where the images are, so if I go back to my um, screen where the images are, go to the tree view, go to the me, uh, main screen, this is actually the image that I want. So if I were to say, not, don't do it inside the form because I know that's an edit form. If I click on the, I click outside a little bit, Let's just go in the play and do it. If I click outside a little bit, I get a right click. I'm looking at a save as, maybe I can get lucky over here. If I click on save as, oh, all I see is that I got HTML. So I'm really having a tough time getting those images. So what is the way how I can get these images back? And I'll show you a trick, okay? So here we go. You go to file, I go to save as. In my save as, I'm gonna now go and say, I'm gonna select it to this computer. I'm gonna say, yep, it's gonna go download. And when it downloads, it'll go ahead and, you know, in my case, it just scans for it, but it'll go ahead and successfully download that into my download folders. In fact, for some reason, it goes into my Adobe. I don't know why that is, but it has successfully downloaded it into my download section. There you go. It just went and downloaded that. Now that it's the important steps, what you want to do is you want to come over here and you want to rename it. Then that MSAPP file, go ahead and rename that to zip, Z-I-P. It will do that, it's gonna say, you know, just be careful. I say, yep, I'm go careful. Now the folder icon comes up, which tells me that it is a zipped file. I'm gonna go ahead and extract it. So I do an extract all, and it actually goes ahead and gives me the entire folder structure, which is great. And now when I go and open up the folder, which it already does, go to the assets folder, and voila, in the assets folder, there is images. And now when you click on the images, it gives you the zero one and zero two, but you get the full images, the exact same images which were there in the app are now successfully there on your folder. You've successfully downloaded it, which means you didn't lose it from anywhere. It was still in the apps. You went ahead and got a copy of it successfully. So wasn't that awesome? I mean, we went ahead and successfully completed all of those three amazing hidden gems. And as a quick recap, the first thing we did was go ahead and add and save those images to a data source, which in our case was the SharePoint list. And keep in mind that was a Windows feature because you hit the Windows button and the plus. But hey, it works and you were able to leverage emojis in your Power Apps Canvas app. The second one was the app appearance where you could go ahead and now set the entire mobile app to either a light or dark mode and you can do it tied to only that app or it will inherit the default settings of your mobile smart device. Pretty neat. And then finally, I showed you the way to go ahead and export those media files that you've uploaded into Power Apps. You would think that it would be a little bit more intuitive than that, but hey, we at least we have a way and now you can successfully go and export it. So these were the three hidden gems. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, keep power apping. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. 
Remember, this is all free with fresh content that is updated on a weekly basis. So if you already subscribed to my channel, thank you and spread the word. If you haven't already, subscribe, click on the bell notification and let the learning begin.